Hey everybody, this is Chris and I'm going to show you a fix uh, to a problem that I had with my Femi X8 SE. While I'm talking, I'll go ahead and take the cover off and boot it up and we'll show you. Okay, so while everything's binding, I uh, just want to explain to you uh, the problem that I had was I got three messages on the screen of my app and with those messages I could not arm the motors. So I've had no problems with my Femi X8 SE whatsoever. Uh, I flew it, I put it away, didn't fly it for three weeks and then I went to go fly it. I had these three messages on the app. I didn't update anything and uh, with these three messages I could not arm my motors. Everything would bind fine, everything looked fine except these three messages. So with these three messages, um, which I'll put up on the screen, I'll show you a screenshot of them and while, I'm, while you're looking at those I'm going to recommend you take off the props. So I'm going to take off the props and you look at the screenshots and that way you can see what these messages were. So I'm going to go ahead and just say if you have any of these messages and you cannot start your motors, then you probably have the same problem. If you have all three of them, you definitely have the same problem I had. Uh, but if you have one of them or two of them and can, everything else looks perfectly normal, but you cannot start your motors, uh, this is probably the same thing you're going to need to do. So what I did is, uh, you know, I posted in Facebook groups, got no help. Uh, I tried things within the app, calibrations and things that I, that I had within the app and no help. Um, I updated the firmware, which I did not want to do because I was very happy with the firmware I had. So that didn't help. So I had to contact Femi. Femi was extremely help, helpful in uh, helping me fix this. So if you can see right here, I've taken the props all off. We have no props on there. And what I had to do for Fe with Femi is I had to connect the uh, Femi X8 SE to the computer, get a copy of my black box. I zipped it up in a folder and I emailed it to them. And I also had to send in my login information for the app, my login and password. So I gave them that and what they did is they turned on a feature within the app that was not there before. It was a tool and I'm going to show you exactly what that is because once they unlock it, so far it has stayed unlocked. So I am going to turn on my screen recorder on my phone so we can put this up on the screen as well. And start the app. And it says horizontal calibration error. Please restart the drone. Probably because I was shaking it. Let's restart the drone. Every time you go to make a video, this is when all this stuff happens. Okay, turn the drone on. And let's just let it set and power on. But, uh... I've got my screen recording on, so we'll put that up on the screen here beside me so you can see it, and then that way, as I'm doing this, this procedure, uh, you'll be able to watch on the screen as well. You'll see what's on my, my device. So we're connected again, and it says horizontal calibration error. So we're gonna ignore that for now. Um, but if you go over here, to where the settings are, you click on the gear. And then you go all the way down to the bottom where those three bars are and you click that. And then you slide it up to where it says maintenance mode, you click that. And then you'll see down here at the bottom, it says drone calibration and calibrate.
that word calibrate, it wasn't there. It was a complete empty blank spot. Um, they had to make it, they had to uh, try to get the glare off of there. They had to um, initiate that. So they enabled that feature once they got my information. So now I have it and we're going to click calibrate and then you can watch on the screen recording up here beside me exactly what we're doing and uh, you can watch me do it with the quad at the same time. So I've got it setting nice and flat, no props on it and we're going to click start and then it just says calibrate first side, place, <clears throat> please place the drone stably and keep it vertically or horizontally. So right now we just have it sitting flat and then on the screen recording you can see that first green bar is uh, flashing. So now it tells us put it upside down. So you want to just be careful. Don't jerk it around, drop it or anything like that. Just always handle it nice and smooth while you're calibrating. And now it's calibrating the second side. So <clears throat> it's sitting upside down. You can't see that because the camera will be down here. Okay, so now it says turn it on its side, and that's what we're going to do. Now you can see it. So I'm just going to hold it like this. I've got the motors setting on the tabletop. Now it's not exactly level when I do this, but it doesn't hurt it. So far it's been fine whenever I've done this. I've practiced this a few times just to make sure before the video. <clears throat> so now it says go this way and you want to be careful don't fold the arms while you're doing this because you'll jerk it around but just keep it nice and steady and we're waiting for the fifth side now we're going to bring it to the fifth side and just sit here and wait for that and you want to keep it nice and still. Until we're done with all the axis points here. So now we are going nose down. And I practiced this several times just to see if it would fail. And if I did it too fast jerking it around, it did fail. So that's why you want to be very careful. So now we're just going to place it nice and flat here. Wait for that to finish and it should tell us we passed. And drone calibration succeeded. So we're going to click OK and then you can see the the gimbal is also moving on us, but uh, we exit that and that other error message that we had on the screen is gone too. So that wasn't a problem before. I don't know what it, why it came up this time, but uh, after doing that, it got rid of all the messages and uh, I was able to fly again. So. Uh, again, all you, if you have any of these three messages and you cannot start your quad, uh, the thing you want to do is contact Femi and you're going to uh, plug, your, plug your Femi X8 SE into the computer, get your black box out of the file and zip it up and put that in an email to Femi and also give them your uh, Femi app login username and your password and then they will access that and they'll uh, make that uh, calibration feature available to you they'll unlock it and uh, so far it stayed I have not it has not disappeared I thought after they unlocked it uh, that I would only have it for a short time but um, it's it stayed within the Femi uh, app and it's mine to keep I guess so uh, after doing that I was able to fly but the one thing I, I, I stress to everybody after doing this go ahead and do do check your IMU and do your gimbal calibration 
do a compass calibration when you're outside ready to fly. Uh, do all of your calibrations just as a preventative and uh, make sure you put your props back on uh, good and secure and uh, check all your prop screws as a preventative as well anytime before you go out to fly and uh, continue enjoying your Femi X8 SE. So hopefully uh, this was something that was helpful for you. Uh, it sure as hell was helpful for me. It got me back up in the air because I love this quad and um, I continue to get some good flights out of it. So um, I hope this worked for you again. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and uh, click that bell and all for future content so you get notified for everything uh, in the upcoming future on my channel. And as always, thumbs up on your way out. And everybody take care. Thank you. Bye.